What a magnamazing Saturday morning it is. Today is 10-14-2023. And as I was doing my evening devotion, what came to me was feed others well. Romans 12, 7 says, if your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it's giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take it seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. So my question to you this morning is, what is your gift that you have been given to feed others well? For you to be effective in feeding others well, you must dedicate your gift to the good of the Lord and not to personal gain. 1 Corinthians 10 24 says, don't be for your own good before the good of others. So we have to be sensitive and gracious that there is a real possibility of misunderstanding. And when you are being offensive, talking to others and communicating with them, you have to understand that. Proverbs 10 21 says the word of the godly encourage many, but fools are destroyed by their lack of common sense. So a little good advice has more value than a lot of bad advice. So do you want to be told the truth, even though it may hurt? Or do you want someone to tell you something just because it will feel good, but it has no real benefit to you? First Peter 5, 2 says, care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly and not grudgingly, not for what you will get out of it but because you are eager to serve God. See, everyone leads others in some form or fashion. Whatever your role is, whatever the way that you lead should be to please God and not yourself. See, God has supplied enough people with personal and financial resources to respond to the needs of others. All believers should recognize how God has been a blessing and utilize the resources that God has bestowed upon you for his will. If this happened, hunger and poverty would be wiped out because you have to think of how many millionaires and billionaires are walking around right now that could aid in people being hungry and the poverty that we have going on in this world. I have been told by many that JNL Innovations can't help everyone. And to that, I say, through God, all things are possible. If you have been blessed with personal and financial resources, use them to help others. I will leave you with this. Matthew 2311 says the greatest among you must be a servant again matthew 23 11 says the greatest amongst you must be a servant so you are here on this earth to serve to serve others to be of benefit to others not of yourself and if you do that the lord will bless you because you are doing it for his will and not the will of your own come to jesus today Be of service to others as the Lord has been of service to us. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnamazing day. Be legendary. Our purpose is your blessing.